Hi guys, I'm Solomon and today I am going to review the Iron Man helmet. Of course it's Marvel, the Legends series. It comes with its original box. As you can see, it is officially sealed. I am planning to gift it, so I'm just going to inspect the goods. Now, the way this is sealed is uh, tape. Okay. This is $95 off of Amazon. It's an okay price. I mean, it's fairly new. Okay, so it's beautiful. It opens up brilliantly, as you can see. So, uh, there you are. So it comes like this. That's the bottom. And this is the top. Like a halo. Oh, that's beautiful. It's like a bicycle helmet. It's very sturdy. Okay. This is a very sturdy $100 helmet. I would not give it to a child to play with. Hell, I can't even trust an adult with this. Okay. Beat the hell out of working a real job. That's for sure. Like a condom. Used condom, you just peel it right off. Uh, here we go. Ooh, let's see. Let's check out the plating if there are any scratch marks on this piece. No scratch marks. Oh, I was afraid of this. Yep. Someone domed up that thing. Is it just a sticky? It looks to be just a sticky that you can polish off. Uh, no visible wear and tear. I don't think anyone wore this. So straight out of the factory from China. It's uh, very large. Heavy. Eh, maybe 3 or 4 pounds. The interior you can adjust it to the length and width of your head and all that jazz. Whether it fits on my head right now is not my concern. My concern is to get you guys information if you want to buy this thing. Should I get this for my uh, son for his birthday? And uh, yeah, you should definitely get it. I mean, the lower the price you buy it at, the better. Now why this, this piece in the back comes off Without using any screws. There are screws in here. And I should probably study up on this before I should continue, but whatever. This is just the first time look. That's if you have a fat head and you need to stuff your head in here. This, this can adjust the head strap. There's another strap in here. How is that easily adjustable? people with fat heads uh. all right uh, my concern is the uh, batteries in here I will check out that out and uh, get my fat in here eventually fat head in here without messing up the paint or anything eventually this is definitely cool prices might drop down for a brief while and you need a Phillips head screwdriver. So I'm gonna get to grab a screwdriver. Okay, after using this uh, DIY uh, micro screwdriver that you do the eyeglasses with, there's only one screw here. And you don't have to use a super grip, otherwise you'll F up the screw. And uh, you want to use uh, AAA batteries. So you place them here. Oh man, this is pretty cool. 
cool. Well, there's a button here. You press inside the bottom left button. Everyone's been talking about. It. So the light, the eyes are encased in, in this LED lights. Whether you can leave it on is another factor. I'm not very f well familiar with. Oh wow! It actually leaves itself on. Uh, you can turn it off. On. Oh, it's super bright. They're super bright. And, uh, dim, super dim, and off. So then again, that's super bright, dim, then it's, uh, dim. And now, if this has one of those transformer voice things, that would be cool. I don't see any voice recognition or sound card or. Okay, um, this is another portion of this video, the Iron Man helmet. Now, this is, it's got a movable parts. It can. For your fat head, okay? This is mainly for your fat head. The, the back opens. You don't have to unscrew anything. And it has this baby lock. It's not a real lock, it just kind of slides in and out. If you position it right, at the same time, you can scratch the paint if you don't do it right. And uh, eventually, if you keep playing with it, you're gonna scratch it up. And it looks like it's kind of meant to be played with, but at the same time, it also doubles as a statue, collector's item, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this will probably be worth something down the road when they stop manufacturing. I mostly know this because the uh, cheesier cartoon models that sold for $30 at Kmart are now freaking $100, $200 for something that's just made in China and is a cartoon mumbo jumbo. So, so the jaw opens, um, it slides open. And you open it without breaking the thing or worrying about breaking the thing. I mean, it with enough force, it can break. You just want to slide it. And it's also kind of, just by opening it, following the directions, it's kind of taking some wear and tear out of it. You know, this is like a spongy material. It's like it can only open so many times until you wear it down. And the cool part is, uh, this is magnet. Yeah. So, uh, you just pop it right out. But, uh, for the full effect, I'm gonna keep the jaw locked. I mean, it's, it's all for your fat head, depending on your, how big and fat your head is. So as soon as you move it out, and uh, pop it back in, it's, uh, it sounds. So, um, without further ado, uh, um, okay. And, uh, I'm not the perfect fit for this thing, or have I adjusted it? I mean, at least I don't look like a cone head or something. So it fits decently without adjusting the straps out of the box. And, uh, there's no voice changer. I mean, it's only like an extra, like, couple of dollars to put the voice changer on. That would be cool. I mean, I know the Hasbro Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Optimus Prime, Halloween costume mask. That was for $23. That thing has a voice changer that makes you sound like a robot. So, uh, 
So this is about the best and awesomest thing. Like I said, I'm talking out into the camera, and my voice is just hollowed out because of the costume and the air and the pressure inside or whatever the hell you call it. It's just bouncing in and out. You also notice there's no uh, nose piece here, so um, inside it feels very weird and humid. Also, when you look out, you can barely see because the LEDs are blocking the uh, your eyesight. So on dim mode, it, you can see better, and on super dim, you can see much better and clearer. Although here, without any LED lights, it's just it's not very comfortable to see out of. Um, it blocks your vision. You can only see about 20% of what you actually see. So you're only you're viewing out like this. If you're wearing this out at night time, someone's probably going to get you due to lack of awareness. Also, there's no breathing. Whew. So um, while there's air coming out of your nose, it's going to be very humid inside. And that air is going to be warm if you're walking, if you're running, even worse. You can't do any athletic activity in here, you're just blocking the circulation. And if you freak out... Uh, you just pull the mask out, just like that. Woo! Man, you do not want to mess with this thing, you could uh... Get yourself uh, suffocated. So there's all this humid and, and grease on Just let me put my face on. Yeah! See, you master this uh, after a couple of uh, tries. Yeah. It feels an actual relief when taking this off because the face mask itself gets all humid. There are no, there's very little or no technology inside this mask. This is just plastic. There's no voice changer. There's magnets. Um, well, I'm not gonna be doing anything much except this. Well, that's the coolest function of this helmet. And for your fat head, um, can the straw slide out by itself without ripping the thing out? But if you're careful enough, you can. And you can remove your fat head out of there. You just have to worry about uh, any paint scratches around the weird clips. Okay, these clips, okay, those are the most sturdiest of things. Some scratch marks, scuff marks, I found on it. Maybe get rid of it with DW40 or some warm soap. Your head is not supposed to uh, be banging on the top, okay? It, it's supposed to fit here in your skull like a medical device. But uh, without adjusting the straps or anything, my head fits fine. And uh, I would worry about wearing this because it can suffocate you. Or you would have a hard time. Because there's no nose. There's no air circulation. None whatsoever. It's just air comes out of your mouth. As I've described. And you're breathing into a fat plastic piece. Also, this is not very convenient. Pouring it back. I don't know. 
we'll get that down one day. So, here's to your fat head. In and out. Well, don't try to that. Make sure it's closed first. from the beginning. Alright, I mean that concludes my video. I'm just gonna take some other action shots along here. I don't do many presentations as I would like. But uh, there you go. The Iron Man helmet. Alright, thank you for watching. Have a good night.